Good afternoon, emergency response team members. Thank you for joining on such a short notice. We have an emergency situation. We have received an update on flood situation from the regional program director as well as the inter-agency group. The government response is limited. Thus, a coordinated effort along with our partners and peer agencies is needed to support the affected people. Inter-agency group has activated unified response system matrix. Based on the situation update, I think Care India need to respond to this situation. We quickly need to understand the vulnerability and capacities of different groups affected by floods to provide impartial assistance based on needs. So let's deploy our team for rapid assessment. I have briefed you on the current scenario of the flood affected area and our logistics plan. Now my teammates of the Disaster Management Unit and HR will orient you on CARE's emergency response protocols and procedures. Hello everyone, I am going to orient you on emergency response guidelines and my friend from HR will orient you on CARE's code of conduct as well as your rights and entitlements while being deployed. The following film shows Care India's relief distribution process guidelines. Hope you are clear about the processes, guidelines for assessment and relief distribution. It is important that you collect your safety kits along with your TOR and assessment formats. You will also be provided with a copy of Care India's Code of Conduct and Guidelines on Beneficiary Feedback and Complaint Mechanism. So now you can proceed towards the vehicle parked outside the office to take you to the location. Namaste. I'm Kanika. We are from Care India. We can see the condition here is very difficult. We would like to talk to you all. Could you please spare some time for us? Thank you. On the basis of the information received from partner NGO, media and government sources about the flood condition here, we are here to develop a better understanding with your support. We have also brought some eatables and drinking water for you all. May I invite few representatives to join us in collecting information on this form. Now I would request to form separate male and female groups to help us identify specific needs. We would also like few of you to accompany us to the houses of persons with special needs. For example, pregnant and lactating mothers, elderly and persons with disability. Thanks for joining us in assessment. The needs that have been identified are safe drinking water, sanitation needs, hygiene items, dignity kits for women and girls, Clean delivery kit for pregnant women and emergency shelter. Have we covered everything in the list? Namaste. Based on the needs identified with you all during the assessment, the relief kit has been designed and displayed here. As per the criteria of beneficiary selection that is also listed here, we had issued tokens. Hope all of you are carrying them now. We will begin the relief distribution process. Pregnant and lactating women, elderly and persons with disabilities will be provided relief kits first, followed by others. A feedback and complaint table has been positioned near the exit. 
people having any feedback or complaint in relation to quality of items and behavior of relief team members can get their feedback or complaint recorded the complaints will be addressed as per cares protocols those who want to provide any feedback or complaint later two phone numbers have been listed at the bottom of the token the rear side of the token also provides the list of items in the kit namaste we are here to do a post distribution monitoring on the relief distribution done by care india a few days back now we will do some focused group discussions separately with men and women we will also collect feedback from households on relief distribution processes based on quality and accountability standards your feedback will help us in enhancing our ability to respond to such disasters in the country efficiently and effectively this will also help in managing our resources more responsibly care india through its planning implementation and monitoring of relief distribution processes strives to meet the nine quality criterion of core humanitarian standards on quality and accountability Thank <laughs> you.